Well, now that we've covered some great strategies to make sure that the landing gear is actually down before landing, let's talk about some additional strategies to avoid what actually works out to be the cause of most of the landings reported as gear up landings. Pilots who think that the gear collapsed on them after landing often don't realize that they actually retracted the gear themselves. What happens is that they have the habit of moving levers and knobs on the runway before they turn off. And they fail to realize that this one time, they raise the gear instead of the flaps. Now, no one gets hurt in these accidents, but they always cause the pilot a lot of grief. And the insurance company, and eventually all pilots, a lot of money. So why does this happen? Well, in many cases, we set pilots up for this by the way we train them. We teach touch and goes. And during a touch and go, we quickly reconfigure the airplane just after touching down. And many pilots continue this habit after they begin flying retractable gear airplanes. And the landing gear collapses are the sad result. So the solution? Retrain yourself to never move any levers or knobs until after you've exited the runway after landing. And only then can you move levers and knobs. Now, follow these good practices, and the odds are very good that you'll never have to explain to the FAA and the insurance adjuster why your airplane looks like this.